We've been bolstering our resources, developing clear plans and preparing to take action. Police in Canada have dialed up pressure on protesters occupying downtown Ottawa for nearly three weeks to leave now on their own terms. While officers have not physically removed people yet, the increased police presence has demonstrators bracing for action and showing defiance. Many honked their car horns in unison in violation of a court order on Thursday, while others shrugged off warnings and soaked in a portable hot tub set up near Parliament. Protester Cry Stacy said it was important to turn out to protest. So if one enshrines our inalienable rights as citizens, so we have, you know, the right, right to free speech, freedom of assembly, freedom to move, freedom to do this. Officers have put up barriers around government buildings, started making arrests, and on Thursday said they would restrict access to the downtown core. Prime Minister Justin Trudeau has repeatedly warned that demonstrators were threatening public safety. And safety, interim police chief Steve Bell says, is the top priority. We want this to end, this demonstration to end peacefully. We want people to realize that it is coming to an end and not, in, not require us to escalate in terms of how we look to deal with demobilizing it. The protests were originally sparked by objections to COVID-19 vaccine mandates for cross-border truckers. But many people occupying Canada's capital have now made clear their wider opposition to Trudeau's government, and some say they want to kick him out of office.